Good afternoon. Welcome to Noonday Prayer at Grace and Holy Trinity Cathedral. Noonday Prayer can be found on page 103 of the Book of Common Prayer. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 34 on page 627. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. I will glory in the Lord and let the humble hear and rejoice. Proclaim with me the greatness of the Lord. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me out of my terror. Look upon him and be radiant, and let not your faces be ashamed. I called in my affliction, and the Lord heard me and saved me from all my troubles. The angel of the Lord encompasses those who fear him, and he will deliver them. Taste and see the Lord is good. Happy are they who trust in him. Fear the Lord, you that are his saints, for those who fear him lack nothing. The young lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack nothing that is good. Come, children, and listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who among you loves life and desires long life to enjoy prosperity? Keep your tongue from evil speaking and your lips from lying words. Turn from evil and do good and seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to root and to the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord hears them, and delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted, and will save those whose spirits are crushed. Many are the troubles of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver him out of all of them. He will keep safe all his bones, and not one of them shall be broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be punished. The Lord ransoms the life of his servants, and none will be punished who trust in him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The gospel for today is Luke chapter 8, verses 1 through 3. Jesus went on through cities and villages, proclaiming and bringing the good news of the kingdom of God. The twelve were with him, as well as some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary, called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out, and Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward, Treza, and Susanna, and many others, who provided for them out of their resources. Today is the lesser feast of Paula and Eustochium of Rome, monastics and scholars. Paula, who was born in 347, was descended from Cornelia Africana, the mother of the Gracchi. As Cornelia was the model of a Roman matron whose sons were her only jewels, so Paula became the model of the desert mother whose wealth was surrendered to the service of God. Married at a young age, she had five children and was widowed at age 32. Though she had lived in patrician luxury after being widowed, she was inspired by the example of Marcella and devoted her life to the worship of God, rigid asceticism, and service to the needy. Both Marcella and Paula converted their palaces into monasteries and gathered to them many widows and virgins. In 382, Paula met Jerome, who had come to Rome at the invitation of Bishop Damascus and was residing in the home of Marcella. Paula and her daughter, Eustochium, took the irascible scholar and preacher of aestheticism. They became Jerome's dearest companions and the only antidotes to his infamous wrath. They restrained his temper and frequently recalled to him the mildness and humility that Christ enjoins. While urged by her noble family to marry, Eustochium, under the guidance of Jerome, 
made a vow of perpetual virginity. Jerome's famous De Custodia Virgin Etatis was written for her instruction. Fluent in Greek, Paula and Eustochium were ardent students of the scripture and they quickly mastered Hebrew under Jerome's tutelage. When he left to return to the east, Paula and Eustochium followed after him, making a pilgrimage of the Holy Land. The three of them settled in Bethlehem and there Paula had four monasteries erected, one for men over which Jerome presided and three for women. In Bethlehem, their passion for the study of scripture only grew and their challenging questions led Jerome to write many of his commentaries. Under Paula's persuasive and persistent influence, Jerome undertook a new Latin translation of the Bible from the original languages, which became known as the Vulgate. Paula also provided the books that were essential to Jerome's work. She and Eustochium suggested revisions to his translation drafts and edited all his works. And the women of the convents were the scribes who made copies of the finished work available. Paula and Eustochium were Jerome's colleagues in this work, and without them, there would be no Vulgate. Paula presided over the Bethlehem monasteries for 20 years until her death in 404. In his eulogy for her, Jerome wrote, If all the members of my body were turned into tongues, and all my joints were to utter human voices, I should be unable to say anything worthy of the holy and venerable Paula. After the death of her mother, Eustochium assumed direction of the monasteries. Eustochium died in 419 or 420, her eyes closed by her niece Paula, who took over the direction of the monasteries after her death. The prayers are found on page 106 of the Book of Common Prayer. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cries come to you. Let us pray. Compel us, O God, to attend diligently to your word, as did your faithful servants, Paula and Eustochium, that by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, we may find it profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness, and that thereby we may be made wise unto salvation through faith in Christ our Lord. Amen. At this time, please say your prayers and thanksgivings, either silently or aloud. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.